Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here, gonna give you some quick gaming news uh, from the front page of Battlestrats.com. If you want to read these stories and more, be sure that you click on the link in the description box. We're gonna get started with some really quick news and then we'll go into the more uh, detailed stuff that I like to talk about. Uh, first off, Portal is now available to download for absolutely free until September 20th. So if you want to try out Portal, you may decide to like it, you may decide to pick up Portal 2. Uh, that's available right now. Uh, also, Daytona USA might be coming to Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Network. I'm sure you all remember playing that as a child, maybe. Uh, this showed up on an Australian rating board. Uh, and so I'm going to keep it in the rumor section right now, uh, but very likely. Because this is the same instance that we saw with Crisis uh, 1. Whenever it was announced for consoles, we first saw it show up on the ratings board listing first before we ever heard any official announcement about the game. So Daytona USA, uh, that that is a good classic maybe coming to Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. Also, did you check out the Xbox Battlefield 3 gameplay footage for the guillotine that was published yesterday? It looks really good. I have to admit, I'm not a real big campaign person. Uh, so whenever I pick up Battlefield 3, I'm going to be jumping right on multiplayer. Uh, but I have to say that uh, the single player campaign looks really cool. And uh, I'll definitely be trying it out and playing through it probably when my internet goes down. Because that happens quite regularly with my Mediacom. So Mediacom sucks. But it's the only option I got. Uh, also in our featured news category, uh, Xbox Live TV is apparently coming according to CNN Money. Uh, by the end of this year. So holiday season, uh, we're actually going to get TV being able to stream, uh, to be streamed through our Xbox. So they've, they've said from the very beginning, they, they wanted the Xbox console to be your number one entertainment system uh, for everything. And so they're pushing it further and further. You know, we've got Netflix, you can do Facebook and Twitter and all that through your Xbox. And uh, now they're trying to work on actual TV shows. Now there's not a whole lot of details out there yet, so we don't know exactly what channels or, or you know partners that they have officially. Uh, but I'm sure we'll be hearing more about that later on, and it might just give me a good reason to cancel my cable. You know, I'm tired of paying for two or three hundred channels and only watching five or six, and uh, especially whenever Xbox launches YouTube. Uh, which is also coming. You're going to be able to watch YouTube uh, later on on your consoles. That's also coming to PlayStation 3. Um, it's a perfect opportunity to opt out of my cable bill. Uh, and finally, a study is featured right now that shows that video games actually don't cause violence. Imagine that. You know, I've been saying that for a long time now. Uh, what the study found was that you have to look at the player not necessarily the game they are playing. And they also found that competitive games, if, if you're more of a competitive player, you're playing competitively, that causes more anger and aggression uh, depending on... Uh, or competitiveness causes more anger and aggression, not necessarily the game or the actions taking part in the game, whether you're slicing somebody's head off or you're just trying to, you know, pop a block or a bubble or, or whatever. If you're playing competitively, you're more likely to be aggressive and angry. And uh, I've been saying this for a long time, violent video games do not make violent people, okay? Violence was long, uh, around a lot longer than video games or movies have been around. All you have to do if you want violence, uh, go read the Bible or Quran or uh, go check out an American history book and you're going to see a lot more violence than what you'll probably ever see in a video game. So uh, if your kids you know, if they're screwed up in the head already, uh, I, I wouldn't aid it and try to get them games where you're doing, you know, grotesque stuff. But uh, if you've got, you know, sweet little Billy there and he likes puppy dogs and he's kind and nice and sweet, uh, just because you get him game where maybe, you know, he's he's doing something that he wouldn't normally do in real life, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to turn out evil. Okay, uh, so I've been saying that for a long time. Uh, games do not make violent people. Screwed up people make violent people, okay? So uh, that wraps it up for this week's video. If you want more gaming news, reviews, whatever, trailers, check out Battlestrats.com. And also, if you want to see a cameo of me starring in uh, Lost in Places, 
new uh, series. He's got a new series coming out that's called Why Was I Banned? And it takes a look at real people getting banned and the, what they wrote in the comment section trying to get an explanation for why they were banned. It's, it's going to be a really funny show. I can already see it uh, being really big. Anyway, I started in the first episode and I actually uh, don't have very many clothes at all on. So for all you uh, freaks or ladies out there, you can check that out. And check me out in Lost in Place. Uh, be sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.